Hello, this is Ken Ferry with this week's Boots in the Field. Been a busy two weeks. Uh, last week we uh, actually finished up the harvest of our harvesting our plots, which is a, a great feeling to have all the men. They've all been harvested. This was kind of an a, unusual year. Typically, especially in corn harvest, our best yields come in the first two weeks of the plot harvest. And then they tend to drift down slowly as the moisture comes out of that corn. And typically the last spots we take out are the lower end of our plot yields, especially in corn. This year that wasn't the case. We started out with phenomenal yields and they stayed strong. Matter of fact, as we slid into May, we saw yields actually increase for the most part. Our last plot that we took out last week was in Twin Rows and it stayed in the mid 280s uh, all the way through the plot. Some fantastic stuff. So it'll be some crazy numbers to look at this winter when we get it all cranked together. Last week we also did the hand harvest plot here at the office. We did that on Thursday. We had just a little under 4,000 ears to manage. We ended up with 36 people between volunteers and crew. Think about that around 3,800 and some ears. We had to husk every ear count every kernel, weigh that ear, then shell that ear, re-weigh the grain, check the moisture, check the test weight, and do a data entry. We started about 8.15, finished up around 3 o'clock. It was a phenomenal effort uh, from our crew out there. We had three shellers running, and we had a wide range of, of volunteers, from the oldest being Shorty at 80 years of age to Kylie Gingrich, who is 10 years of age. Now her parents let her get out of school and her dad promised to help her with the catch-up homework. So Kylie, I hope you held him to that promise as far as getting your homework done. The shelling team in lane three, made up of Olson, McMillan, Reeser, and Ferry, averaged 20 seconds faster throughout the day on a tub of 10 years. Now the other two lanes are going to tell you it's because Chris put an electric motor on our shower and they had to hand crank theirs. I don't think that's the case. I think it was the sheer talent that we had on the team plus the recruiting effort that went into putting that team together. But, but they think different. Now we have to turn that data into something that we can use uh, in helping us in positioning our seed purchases uh, next year and the years after. So we got to a lot of effort there to bring this into something that we can present to you and I think it's going to be some pretty good data as I watch through it. This is a massive effort and a, and a big big thank you to everybody involved with our hand harvest flex plot stuff from the guys that planted those plots and put the seed pods in all the way down to the crew that came in here last Thursday and help us process it. There's just no way uh, that uh, anybody could do that without that kind of help. That's probably why we can't find this data out there uh, as far as to use it. We have to build it ourselves, but it was a, a fantastic effort itself. Keep your yield data coming in. If you guys have plots in your yield data that you put in and you want some help analyzing that, send that information with it. So tell us which field it is, which loads, let us know where it is what the uh, inputs are, and we can help you analyze that and have that data for you uh, when we do the yield map meetings. And if it's data you want to share with the rest of the customers, uh, we might even add it into our winter meetings as well. So, uh, But we do need to know um, where it is and the weights and what the treatments were so we can pull that out for you. So keep that in mind. This week I've had a number of calls about winter burn down yet. Guys are asking now this weather has changed. Is it too late? Is it too cool to do our winter burndowns uh, if we didn't quite finish those up? we well, got to remember we're talking about winter annuals and they have antifreeze in their veins. So with these sunny days, photosynthesis is still taking place and yes, we can still kill them. So no, it's not too late. Uh, you work around the issues with your sprayer freezing up. But uh, if you haven't finished up your winter burndowns, let's get them finished up and let's put those in the books uh, so we don't uh, have to deal with some of those messes that we dealt with this spring. Don't forget, next Thursday and Friday is our basic and advanced basic meeting. And base, the advanced and basic meeting are for new customers, uh, and it's good review for uh, existing customers. 
We'll work through some of the foundation pieces that need to be in place in your systems approach. And we'll do a pretty good job, I think, of explaining how and why we do the things that we do here at CropTech to make your systems approach work for you. So it's a good meeting for new customers uh, to CropTech that are new, as well as uh, maybe if you have farm managers or landowners who you'd like to uh, introduce to what we do here and get them a better understanding of why we do some of the things that we do and how we help you in that implementation of itself, as well as its good review if you want to come back through and it has been a while since you've been through. Basically, the meeting is almost the same in content to some extent as it been well, as it was 20 years ago. Uh, we do have upgrades to it pretty much every year, but the, we're working on the fundamentals of agronomy and making sure everybody's got a good foothold there, and then how you use those fundamentals to move forward. Now, it's not mandatory that you come to the basic meeting on Thursday before attending the advanced basic on Friday, but it is highly recommended. We kind of build uh, throughout the day and we build the two days on top of each other. But you won't be rejected either day. Just give a let your retailer know so they can let us know or call here at the office, let us know to so make sure we get enough uh, food and everything for everybody as far as our preparation goes there itself. I had a call uh, yesterday. Is it too late to get soil testing done? Uh, no, nope. crews are still cleaning up. If you got farms you forgot or new farms that you picked up, we can still get those sampled. Kevin's out sampling today. As long as the ground's not froze, we can get those samples pulled for you and get that thing turned around. So if you got something that needs to be cleaned up, just give us a call and we'll take care of it itself. With that, keep her safe, keep her moving.